1775, five other sail and motor vessels called Hornet served from the War of 1812 through the Civil War and Spanish-American War before the first aircraft carrier Hornet CV-8 was launched in 1941 as the seventh USS Hornet. In April 1942, just four months after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, CV-8 sailed from one of the same piers in Alameda, California, that now serves as the home of the USS Hornet Sea, Air, and Space Museum. She was leading a daring mission in which Jimmy Doolittle's Raiders flew 16 Army Air Corps bombers off her deck to successfully attack the home islands of Japan. Two months later, Hornet fought bravely in the American victory at the Battle of Midway in June 1942. But four months after that, CV-8 was badly damaged at the Battle of Santa Cruz Islands in October 1942. She had to be evacuated and sunk to prevent her from falling into enemy hands. The death of CV-8 was soon avenged when the 8th and last USS Hornet CV-12 was commissioned in November 1943. CV-12 was attacked 59 times and was one of the leading ships that turned the tide of the war in the Pacific and introduced a new era of carrier warfare. She destroyed more aircraft than any other naval unit. After World War II, CV-12 participated in 11 Western Pacific cruises, including three tours on Yankee Station during the Vietnam War. Hornet finished her career by again capturing the attention of the world in July 1969 with her recovery of Neil Armstrong and the crew of the Apollo 11 spacecraft after the first man landing on the moon. Her last mission was the recovery of Apollo 12 in November 1969 before her final decommissioning in June 1970.